Hey, everybody. Hey, you don't believe what we're gonna, what we're going to tell you. <laughs> we're in, we're in Snowton, Virginia. Stanton. Stanton. I call it Snowton, no, but anyway. They say do not say that here. Remember? Yeah. Stanton, we came to see the town, and as we were coming in, they stopped traffic. And there's another car show, and you're talking about some awesome cars. Yeah. So we're gonna look around here. They're playing a lot of loud music, so I, have to voice uh, over. yeah, I may have to voice over or just play music over it. Uh, but anyway, we're going to give you a look at this car show here in Stanton also. Yeah, so, we all uh, have long because we started two hours ago. Yeah, especially in about an hour and a half or so now. So anyway, we're going to get to looking around and uh, hopefully you'll like what you see. We've got a couple of little Ford uh, pickup trucks here. Both of them really clean. Nice little 65 Mustang, white with a black insert there. And somebody's got a Chevelle station wagon. Here's a really pretty light blue note. As you can see, he's got some striping on there. I really like the color on this uh, Barracuda here. Here's a 71 Chevelle, and those black stripes really jump off that uh, white paint there, they're gloss white. And as you can see, here's a 56 Chevrolet, bright yellow, really a good looking car. Little Corvair here. Here's a 65 Mustang. It's just really clean looking. It's still got the straight six in it. And it is a convertible. Really clean on the inside. Looks really good. How you like those gauges on the sides of the steering wheel there? Here's a really beautiful red coupe right here. Got a lot of shine to that red paint. Here's a bright green Plymouth Duster. It's got some big spoiler on the back back there. Here's a purple Ford pickup truck. I'm not sure the year model, but it is jacked up on a four wheel drive frame. Really nice early 70s Chevy or late 60s. I think, I think it's early 70s. Got a big block in there. I really like the color on this uh, Camaro here. And he has put an LS in here. This blue and white 57 Ford is really shining out here in the sun. And again, I always like those hoods that uh, open up backwards. A nice little 64 Corvette convertible. It's got the side pipes on it. An old style American maze it looks like.
That looks really good. Here's a Dodge. I'm not really sure of the model that it is. Here's a 54 Chevrolet pickup truck, and it seems to have all the bells and whistles on it. It's got a straight six. It's running uh, two two barrels on there, it looks like. As, as you can see, he's got the external sun visor on it, and he has vented his, his exhaust out of these stacks back right here on the side. Up, upgraded the interior in here and they've got some custom horns there on the on the back really nice pickup A little Ford pickup truck here looks like it's been chopped or something as you can see it's been modified just a little bit. Still got a flathead run with a blower on it, looks like. Here's a 68 Roadrunner. It's always good to see these at car shows. And he does have the Coyote and Roadrunner inside there. And I'm guessing he's got a 440 in here. Here's a bright blue Chevrolet. Again, I don't know what your model is, but it really it's good, good in that bright color. Those big wide white walls. Again, the interior on this one has been updated a little bit. The, the license plates say 47, so I'm guessing it's a 47 model. This is a 41 delivery van. As you can tell by the, the writing on the side there. And it's all cleaned up on the inside also back here. Here's a 66 uh, Chevrolet, which is the first car I ever owned when I actually had the driver's license. And here's a uh, 67 Camaro. It is a bright, sunshiny day today, and it really is making these uh, bright colors pop out here. It's really good. Always upgraded the interior, too. Look how uh, cushy those seats look inside there. Now, this uh, sedan delivery says Big Bear Delivery, and it's just a really fun-looking uh, car here. Here's a bright green 57 Chevrolet, and it is metallic paint. It looks really good, and it has the green and white interior here to match the car. Now, I just saw a 68 Roadrunner. This one here is a 69, and I think it's got the 383 Magnum in here. No, it says 440 Magnum. Here's a 71 Oldsmobile Cutlass. I don't see any badges that says 442, but it is the fastback uh, model. Now we got an early 70s or late 60s. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is a Suburban or what, but they have put a lot of time, money, and effort into this to make a beautiful vehicle. Everything's custom there around the dash and everything. And I said they got big speakers in between the seats in the back here. It's really nice. The engine compartment's actually been upgraded too, as you can see there. It's really clean. I mean, really, really clean. And here's a. 58 Edsel Ranger and you don't see a lot of these but I'm glad this one's here here's an orange and white 57 or 55 brother Chevrolet and as you can see they've done quite a bit of modification 
in the engine compartment there. And it does have a full row cage inside, so I guess he races this one. Here's a late model Camaro here beside it. I know it's a new car, but I really do like these new Corvettes for the mid-engine. I think they're really sharp. Here's a 55 Chevrolet in red and white. Looks really nice.
you don't see enough uh, Torinos anymore, especially around this year model. Well, yeah, that was our look around the uh, little car show here, and uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and if you do, give us a, a thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, who knows, we might run across another car show here in the next wow, hour or two, who knows. Wow, we in Georgia, and they just <laughs> come upon us here in Virginia. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, y'all have a good day. And let's live life. Together. Always. Bye, y'all. Bye.